어제 여기서 잤고요 지금 아침에 바이슨 데리고 나와서 산책하고 여기로 여기 길을 따라서 위에 올라갔다 다시 집으로 돌아가고 있는 중입니다 저기 앞에 마구간을 개조해 갖고 이렇게 멋지게 알비를 만들어 놨는데 한번 구경하고 싶네요 음. 오늘은 또 어떤 하루가 될지 기대가 됩니다 Crazy Marty, how are you? I'm here with Avalon 999, apparently. Uh, this guy, he's spending time over here in his other camp. Here comes a motorcycle by, so you know, always waiting on sound, as they say. We're just out cruising around, thought I'd show this Avalon 999 guy my rig. This is a horse trailer. Don't know if anybody has ever seen a horse trailer converted into living quarters. I'm from uh, Sacramento, originally, yeah. And now we're just out here in California, the edge of California, yeah. in the middle of the desert. Are you a full-timer? Yep, now we oh. are. How long have you been? Uh, about a month and a half, two months. Oh, so we're, it's, we're just it's starting just, out. Just starting? Yeah. What motivate? What's the reason you are being uh, full time? One of the reasons, because uh, California and the emission laws. Basically, the government said I had to shut down my business and upgrade my fleet of diesels and everything else, my tractors. So it was either spend a, a million five, two million dollars to upgrade everything, or sell everything off, fire everybody, and leave. So that's what I'm doing. You sold everything. Sold everything: the house, the business, all the equipment, cars, mm. everything. So all I got left is truck and. Truck in a house here on wheels. You said this is horse trailer. It's a horse trailer. Mm. Order them. You order them with living quarters in there or mm. without living quarters, but they're still a horse trailer. It's brand new. Yep. Uh, how much do you pay if you don't mind? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> right around 120,000 out the door. 120,000? Yeah. Oh. So expensive. Yeah, so it's price. expensive. Why RV? expensive compared to others? Because it's built like a tank. <laughs> like tank. Yeah, okay. the, a horse trailer will last about 30 to 40 years versus an RV, which is good for about 7 to 10. Yeah, I mean, if you go there and you look at the at the fifth wheels and the other guys' travel trailers, you'll see that those things are pretty much starting to fall apart after about 10 years. And they need a new roof after 7. This here has got full sheet of aluminum roof up there. Never have to worry about roofing it. 32 foot long Lakota horse trailer. At the highest point, it's 13.2, I think it is. I got a generator on the roof. You got a diesel generator, two air conditioners, solar system, 800 watts of solar, uh, power inverter. Right now, everything's running off of just the solar. And uh, you know, I can I can live out here. I also have a water treatment system in there, and I can live out here for months and months and months without actually having to go anywhere. If there was water, I wouldn't have to go anywhere, because then I could make it out of make the water out of a creek, which is. That's why I'm just waiting for summertime to show back up so I can go back to the mountains where I belong. So anyways, come on through. We'll show you. Did get the propane up front. Solar. I've been uh, doing some experiments with solar, trying to get more power out of it. So, you know, it's got gooseneck. Uh, really? So heavy duty. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I've never seen horse trailer converted to RV. What manufacturer made this? Lakota. Uh huh. This is the Bighorn edition by Lakota. It looks heavy. Uh, I can tell you exactly how much it is. I just happened to weigh it. Mm. Very thin. Oh, wait. Where'd my weight tag go? 
Ah, there it is. According to the official weight with the truck mm -hmm. and the trailer, it's 25,080 pounds. There's 5,200 pounds on the front axle of the truck. There's 8,640 pounds on the rear axle of the truck. And then on the tandems back there, there's mm. another 11,240 pounds. You scaled it? Oh, yeah. Where? On the highway? Yeah. Oh. Well, there's a public scale there. You just pull on there and you put your $3 in and it spits out a tag. You just paid three, three bucks yeah. for scale? Just to see how much it weighed, because uh -huh. I didn't know how much it weighed. It's two. That's kind of a cheap. Heavy duty, really. <laughs> so you have awning? Yeah, the awning. And this is for my cell booster. I've got an antenna that sits here, then I've got another one that goes up on the other side that goes up 25 feet so I can get cell reception when there's only like one bar or less. And that works pretty good. Is it bedroom? Yeah. Okay. Refrigerator? That's one of the propane furnace. Wow, look at this underneath. Yeah, I had to spray foam it. It's a four season. You can go to the North Pole. I'm going to be up in Alaska here soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> no Take problem care. living in the North Pole. I'm hoping so. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because the uh, problem I had was the water line started to freeze when I was in South Dakota. We started getting freezing weather in South Dakota. Mm. So I had to do something. So I spray foam, had the guy come out, spray foam the whole underside. Now I just have to do a couple more insulation things on the uh, water line and it should be good to go. And I should be able to stay into Alaska up until December at least. I'm trying to get it down to where everything's good to about negative three. Normally you'd have your saddles, your saddles and tack would be right here. And then you'd run the horse in here, and then you'd have two horses that could fit in there. It would be a two-horse horse trailer. Mm. So you'd have two horses in here, and you're, you'd have a, a room right here, basically. A short little room that have your saddles and your tack, and your tack could also hang on the door over here. So I just got rid of the horses. Don't need any stinky horses. I got stinky dogs instead. <laughs> so. Kind of a mess back here at the moment, but, you know, this yeah. is just food and stuff. Everything else is, you know... I'm a diesel mechanic, so if you need your car fixed, mm. I can fix it right here. Okay, thank you. And then what is that? The, what? The big one. The tube? Yeah. That's the antenna for my, my cell phone booster. Part of it. Mm. Cell phone booster? Yeah. So big. So when I'm in the middle of nowhere... Mm -hmm. So tall. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> I have to it go keeps back. going, yeah, it's 25 <laughs> foot. 25 foot. Wow. So what this does is this mounts on the on the side of the trailer. Then I have an antenna that goes in the top. The antenna is up behind you there, behind your head. So this will mount up on the side of the trailer, and then I plug it into my cell phone booster. Why do you need a rake? Do you need all these things? Oh, yeah. when you house? Well, I've already used the rake out here to rake up the rocks and stuff, you know? Okay. You always need a rake to rake out your, where you're going to have a fire. You want to clear it back 10 feet. Pick for when it gets hard to dig. Pruners for trimming tree limbs. I've got a pole saw, chainsaw, weed eater, you name it, I got it. Yeah. So I've got water treatment here so I can get water out of any creek or river. So if I pull water out of a, out of a, out of a river, I have a 100-gallon bladder, I put it in the back of my truck. I'll do yeah. a, uh, a chlorine treatment there with uh, sodium hypochlorate and then run it through the system here, which goes through a 5-micron filter, a 1-micron filter, then it goes through a tannin filter, and then it goes through the the carbon block filter, then it runs it down and shoots it through this thing here, which kills out any of the last bacteria that may be, that may have survived the chlorine and the filtration system. 
regular washer and dryer. That's the part all the solar and, and 3000 watt inverter, 120 amp charger built into it with putting disc brakes on, get rid of the electric brakes. Bathroom. Nice big, clean. It is all than I thought. Yeah, they gotta have yeah. horses. So if you have horses, you gotta make sure the horses don't hit their heads. So they're a little taller than, than a regular regular trailer. Mind the mm. mess. It's a disaster right now. Yeah, nice cabinet. And then big microwave. Yeah, it's a microwave convection oven. Mm-hmm. Okay. So right now everything's running off the solar. So I got the refrigerator running off the solar, lights, so everything else. This is the living room. Yep, living quarters basically. You can check it out. Thanks. Wow. Nice. It's roomy and cozy feeling. Yep, all I need to do is find me a girlfriend now. <laughs> You're lonely? Do you no, no, lonely? I only got two dogs. <laughs> yeah. So, you see your uh, equipment, your channel? You have a YouTube channel. Yeah, I got a YouTube channel. Just look up Crazy Marty. Crazy Marty. Crazy Marty is my YouTube channel. Okay. And you'll find me on there. I always need subscribers. Right now, I think I have like 6,000, 7,000. But mm -hmm. I go out into the, in, in, into the places that I do things that other people don't do. Like if I see a a heavy hauler alongside the highway, I'll stop and video that so people can see it. There was one I came across in uh, uh, Wyoming, I think it was, 600,000 pounds they were hauling. So that turned out to be a pretty decent video. And then, uh, you know, people break down on the highway, I stop, fix them, you know, help people out. Got nothing better to do. Yeah, you know, we're, we're here. I don't know, this is, this is home, man. What is this for? It's a ham radio. That's why I you have the antenna. So I can talk to anybody anywhere really. So if the conditions are right, I can talk to you in Korea. 